Alright, I am in Bradenton on Manatee Avenue at the Oasis Lounge. This thing just recently got repainted, this bright turquoise color that apparently nobody seems to like. But that's okay because they don't know what I'm doing next. So I started sketching out this octopus, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you. It's, uh, eight, it's 70 foot long, and what's going to happen is this octopus is going to be half underwater, half above water, holding a bottle of whiskey up out of the water. It's going to wrap around the front end right there and turn into a beach scene above water. And then the water wrapping around the top here is going to go around the back of the building to create an underwater scene of fish and all kinds of stuff. So if you know where the Oasis is, you've been here, if you like this place, well, hopefully you'll like a little bit more now. Alright, so if you know me and you know my murals, my artwork, I put a lot of clouds in, in them all the time. Um, I'm kind of a weather geek, so I like to paint what I see. And in Florida summers, we get these awesome towering uh, storm clouds. So I just kind of wanted to replicate that into the sky on the mural here. And since the, the image here is basically of a sunset type of sky, I really wanted to make sure that I brightened up the outer edges of those clouds to really glow as if the light was coming from behind them. So if you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, you'll know that the mural that I've been sharing photos of uh, is not of this octopus. It's the same wall, but I started this octopus as my original idea, and I don't know what I was thinking. It was just, it's too flat and too, uh, too boring, and I was trying to force in eight tentacles, and I'm not sure why I'd, I would decide to do that, but anyways, I went home after painting this, and I... I stared at my photos and I slept on it and uh, came back and switched it up and I'll explain that here in the next clip. So sometimes what happens is I'll paint something and at the end of the day, I'll go home and stare at the photos and see what I need to uh, basically mentally prepare for the next day so I know what colors to add and like how to improve it and stuff. So the way I thought I could improve this octopus uh, is basically repainting over it and starting over. Uh, I have a different reference image for an octopus that I, I think will fit this mural a lot better. So sometimes that happens, I'll have my whole mural prepped and planned ahead of time in Photoshop, and then once I get to the wall and I actually start painting it, I'll see that the way I thought it would it should be ends up not being the way. So some people might think I'm crazy to repaint over all of this since I just spent a few hours on it, but uh, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and it needs to be done just the right way to get the full effect and have the best overall composition possible. So I'm gonna repaint over this today and then get my new spray paint uh, Monday, tomorrow, and then come back and hit it hard. So let's do it. All right, so as of a day ago, there was an octopus right here obviously it's gone i already explained it so i'm gonna go ahead and start sketching out my new layout of an octopus and the reason why i'm changing it is because the previous version was too flat it was too side profile too t uh 2d didn't have enough depth and character to it so now i'm going to do something that's uh facing the camera a little bit more to the camera facing the viewer 
uh, a little bit more. And now it's going to have a little bit more depth and detail and a little bit more character to it. So I'm going to do that now. Let's go. All right, so now that it's sketched out, I'm gonna go and fill in the colors. I should have just painted the whole entire tentacle first, the color I wanted it, and then did the suction cups, but uh, I, I started painting around the suction cups, which was just a lot harder and slower. And, uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but it was really hot out, so maybe my brain was fried, and I just, you know, just not thinking right. So now I'm just kind of adding in highlights and lowlights and just layering colors until I've like, I feel like I've got it right. And then I also have to add in textures because if you see an octopus, obviously it's, it looks like it's very textured, um, it's splotchy. There's really no constant one solid color in an octopus because it's always changing. So I'm trying to replicate that by layering uh, pinks, peaches, purples, and a couple other colors over top of each other. Uh, until I come up, come up with the right, right game plan, and then uh, I stick with it, and then I move on. Now the camera is uh, set right in the sun, so it was hard for me to um, film the rest of this. So I, I added some more layers and textures and details to this octopus behind me. I think I really got it kind of dialed in now. Uh, I should have recorded it, but the way that the sunlight is just blasting right into the camera lens, it really doesn't, it doesn't really give a good view of it. So unfortunately I had to skip out on some of that for this video, but I think it looks pretty good. So I started filling in the uh, suction cups with a little bit of a pink tint and when I was doing it I kind of started accidentally doing these spirals and uh, I liked it so I just go, uh, continued with it and uh, now every suction cup is kind of like a little fun spiral. Stick black. So a little shadow underneath each section covers. Give it some more depth and realism. So one of the things that I really wanted to achieve this mural is to make it look like it was half underwater and half above water. Um, so that was why I painted the water the way I did. I had to paint a, a very distinct surface of the water, like the line that goes through the image, in order to make it look like the octopus tentacles are coming up out of the water uh, instead of the octopus sitting in front of the water. Uh, so I had to make the surface of the water here. And then I had to paint a very distinct darker line uh, to represent everything below that as being underwater, as if you're kind of looking at this image behind a glass wall. So you would see that, that line running through and the octopus is half above and half below the water. 
All right, so I thought the one tentacle right in front of the octopus's eyes that was going straight up and then curled over, it just wasn't making enough uh, impact. So I had this uh, four foot by four foot piece of max metal at home. So I decided why not cut out a tentacle out of that uh, piece of metal and use it as a 3D element in the mural to where it goes up above the roof line and then comes back down in. I don't see a lot of people doing that, so uh, I wanted to jump on it and maybe I'll try to incorporate it in all of my other murals. So for those of you that don't know Oasis Lounge in Bradenton, the front half of the building is a small uh, liquor store where you can go in and buy anything that you typically buy at a liquor store. And the back half of the building is uh, kind of an old school dive bar. It's been there forever. A lot of people live in a neighborhood behind there and they all go there and they're regulars. They all know each other. So I thought the octopus should be holding a bottle of uh, pirate rum up out of the water. And I wanted to make a story out of this mural since I had some artistic freedom and I didn't have any sort of guidelines. Uh, I was able to do my own thing. So I wanted this to tell a story of an octopus um, that has been battling pirates its whole life. The, there will be a sunken ship on the back wall that the octopus already killed and destroyed at a previous time. So I wanted the octopus to be stealing the rum away from these pirates and flaunting it in front of them and showing off his size and fearless power. So anyways, the pirates are in full pursuit coming after him now to reclaim their rum. And I really love the way this bottle came out. I was debating on what to put on the label, if I should do skull and crossbones, but since I already did those on the sails of the pirate ship, I just thought, hey, I'll just do some generic triple X rum and kind of give it like an old sort of basic old school look. Got Big O the octopus. And his buddy's down here swimming. He stole the pirate's rum. And he's flaunting it. But here come the pirates. They're coming back. They're gonna hunt down the big crack and get their rum back. All right, so now I know you guys are probably tired of seeing this wall, this painting, because I've been sharing it like crazy on social media. But this thing was a lot of work and a lot of fun. Love the way the rum bottle came out. I was originally going to give it a cork top to fit with the pirate theme, you know, like 1600s or so. But I decided since they sell rum right out of that window, I want to do a modern cap on it just to represent what they sell. Got the fish. I wanted to have the tentacle uh, to be able to show through some of the top of the water here. So I just made it a little bit more transparent. Got the 3D element up top. I don't see a lot of artists doing that, adding 3D elements to go beyond the, the border of their artwork, so I wanted to do that. 
And uh, so he's pretty much done. This, this section of the wall is done. I may come back and add some more details once this back wall over here is finished and the front wall is finished. But other, other than that, this thing came out great. So thank you for watching. This is a lot of work and so is editing the videos to show this time lapse. So if you like what you saw here, please, please, please share. That's all I ask. All right, Bradenton. Enjoy your new artwork. See you next time.